The Red Bull Racing Team has been a hotbed of controversies and front-page news for the past month or so, with the allegations against team principal Christian Horner now coming to somewhat of a resolution. It's now other central figures in the team that are making the news, namely Helmut Marko and the Verstappens who have now seemed to turn on Horner and the team. Since the Bahrain race weekend, Jos Verstappen has made it pretty clear that he isn't the biggest fan of Horner's presence in the Red Bull garage. Now, after the weekend in Jeddah, the former F1 driver has doubled down on his statement. Despite being away from the paddock for the race, because of his participation in the Hannet Rally in Belgium, Verstappen Sr. found time to once again publicly call out Horner. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Jos talked about Horner's desire to draw a line and move past the incident. I think it's a bit too late for that now. If that's what he wants, fine. But I don't think it will be possible. I don't want to talk too much more as it will create problems. But the most important thing for me is that Max is happy. That's what counts for me. I just want him to be happy. Later on in the interview, Joss again reiterated what he said during the Bahrain weekend. I think it's too late for Christian to say, leave me alone. But he has the support of the tie owner, so I think he will stay for the rest of the season. I said it would bad if he stayed. It really isn't good for the team, this whole situation. Joss also showed his support for the now suspended female Red Bull employee who was at the center of the whole controversy involving Christian Horner. The suspension of the employee came after the leak of the alleged text exchanges between her and Horner, which has added fuel to the ongoing saga within the Red Bull team. Reports suggest that she was deemed dishonest because of the evidence that she presented during the investigation. I sympathize with the woman, with all that she went through, but we will see what happens. There has also been some heavy speculation within the F1 community regarding Jos Verstappen's potential role in leaking the messages between Horner and the former Red Bull employee. Some reports also suggest that Jos also has a personal involvement with her, dating back to at least three years. When asked what he thought about Red Bull's decision, he commented, Red Bull seem to know what they are doing with her, we will see but I think it is for her to come out and see what happens. I'm not fully up to speed with what is happening with her. However, the person Verstappen Sr. is most concerned about is the three-time world champion. But all these things that are going on are having an influence on Max. He was third in the first practice, and all we hear about is Horner and what happened with his situation. In the press conference Horner gave the other day, it was all about him and his problems, when we should be talking about Max, the car, his performance and the race. I've already said I think it is causing problems if he stays. After last weekend's race in Bahrain, Verstappen Sr. and Horner were also seen in what looked to be an argument between the two. Joe's clarified that situation a bit more, saying that was earlier on Friday before the race. He was saying to me, do you trust me? I will do everything for your son. And we were talking with our hands. We didn't have a fight. But on Friday, we did have an argument in the office and I walked out, but in the trailer, he came up to me and said, congratulations, good race. But Jos Verstappen isn't the only one who's been on the news recently. Red Bull's motorsport advisor, Helmut Marko, has also found himself in the headlines recently for reasons he'd rather avoid. Just before the Saudi Grand Prix got underway, Marco hinted at his possible suspension. While talking to an Austrian broadcaster off, Marco revealed that it was due to some allegations about his involvement in leaking sensitive information about Horner's conduct. The theoretical possibility always exists. These rumors prompted the team star driver Max Verstappen to come out with unwavering support for Marco. Marco's closeness with the Verstappen family is no secret. The 80-year-old has been with the team since its debut back in 2005 and has been instrumental in its young driver program, which Max Verstappen was a part of. There have even been speculations that Max has a clause in his contract with the team that stipulates that Marco stays with the team, otherwise the Dutch driver would be free to do as he pleases, which he hinted at with this statement. I feel if such an important pillar falls away, that's also what I've said to the team that is not good for my situation as well. So yeah. For sure, for me, Helmut has to stay. However, things seem to have calmed down much on that end after Marco met with Red Bull's managing director, Oliver Mintzlaff, on the morning of the race. Now, it has been clarified that Marco's future with the team is safe and he will continue with the team until the end of his contract. 
Later on, Marco was quick to address the swirling rumors about his potential suspension. No, no, no. If someone has this wish or idea, there was no legal basis. Asked about the accusation of being a leak, Marco said, absolute rubbish, I'm really happy when I have my iPhone halfway under control. I haven't seen this report, Horner report, or any of these chats, Horner leaked material. I deliberately stayed out of it. To associate me with it was almost like a planned operation, as I realized. Cunning, as Nicky Lauda would say. Horner was also asked about these rumors at the race weekend in Jeddah. The team principal was adamant that this investigation was conducted by the company itself and that he had nothing to do with it. I think the rumor about suspension was as news to the team as it was to anybody else, explained Horner. We were quite surprised to hear that. Helmut is a contractor to Red Bull GmbH, so it was an issue between them. We weren't party or part of that discussion. I've known Helmut since 1996 and he's played an important role over the years. That role has evolved over the years. I've known him a very, very long time. Coming up to 81 years of age, he's still obviously motivated about Formula One, which is a positive thing. Horner also attempted to downplay any notion of a rift within the garage with the management or with the drivers. There has been no decision-making process around Helmut, so I am not quite sure where the rumour has permeated from. But it is not something I've been involved in. My relationship with Helmut is no issue. I think that he's always outspoken, but that's Helmut, added Horner. Everybody has a role to play no matter what that role is. I think this team has been incredibly successful and it has had tremendous ability for a long period of time. That has been one of the keys to our success. Following his second dominant victory this season in Jeddah, Verstappen was also asked about his previous comments now that the situation had come to a resolution. Speaking to Sky Sports F1 before the race, Max expressed that the resolution was absolutely good news for him. I always said that what is most important is that we work together as a team and that everyone keeps the peace, said Verstappen. And that's what we, I think, all agree on within the team. So hopefully, from now on, that is also fully the case. Everyone is trying to focus in the same direction. And I think the positive out of all this is that it didn't hurt our performances. So it's a very strong team. I think also mentally, what you can see from not only driver's side, but also mechanics, engineers, everyone is there to do their job. And I think everyone, even when there is stuff going on or whatever, they're just very focused on their job as they should be, he also added. I think everyone knows that it's important to have peace in the team and just focus on the driving aspect and the performance aspect. So that's what we try to do as a team. So what do you guys think about all of this chaos in the Red Bull garage? Do you think things will escalate once again or is all of this drama going to come to an end now? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest F1 news.